Fiona Clark from Prime Value. Join me from Melbourne for more on today's market movements. Fiona Clark, thank you for joining the business. Pleasure. A perfect reversal of yesterday's performance, up almost 0.7 of a percent. What were the big drivers? Well, the big driver today was the heavy lifting was done by BHP Billiton, which re uh, produced its quarterly production report. Uh, the big number, the iron ore number, came in at the top end of expectations, and most of the other uh, items were commodities were also generally in line, and also expectations that we'll hear something about the sale of the US shale assets going forward. So uh, BHP on its own contributed over 11 points to the market. So uh, it wasn't just BHP, though. We saw the banks doing well as well. The technology did, uh, did uh, very well as well. It was really uh, just uh, the gold and energy companies that, that let things down. Uh, investors cheering a bigger dairy company with its new acquisition, but it should also make farmers happy. Ah, uh, yes. So this is an acquisition which was generally expected, Saputo uh, being uh, required by the ACCC to sell the assets uh, as a result of its purchase of the Murray Goulburn uh, company. So in Koroit, it's a, a processing facility that makes butter and uh, milk powder for uh, infants and for milk production. Uh, it's a 300 million litre a year facility, although it has produced as much as uh, 800 million litres at times. It's uh, expected to add about $20 million to earn and uh, best of all, uh, no job losses. So for the farmers, a great outcome. It will increase competition in the region and uh, was well received by the market. So everybody seemed to be happy. And overnight we heard from US Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell. He seems to be saying all the right things to investors. Yes, well, Jerome Powell's uh, testimony before the Senate committee actually set the tone for the market's response today. It was a very positive speech. He talked about a very long uh, projection of growth, very strong growth with limited inflation, and suggested that the Fed would uh, be on the rate rise path as growth progressed, but would, was in no hurry to, to raise rates, and it would be a gradual path. It's a Goldilocks scenario, and uh, without admitting victory in terms of managing the US economy, that was certainly the way the market took it. Uh, the US dollar rose as a response and our Aussie dollar is weaker, trading at 73.50 uh, now. The uh, the other comment that was interesting about uh, Mr Powell's speech was his uh, comment in relation to trade. He presented, a, 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 I guess, the best case scenario where, in fact, the US's negotiating tactics resulted in lower tariffs around the world, uh, which would be good for everybody. I can't say I'm totally convinced at this stage, but it was an interesting uh, take on the situation. Fiona Clark, thanks for your time. Pleasure.